guys, what's up? It's me, Amy, and welcome to a brand new episode here in Minecraft. And wait a minute, Minecraft 1.19.3? Has that always said that? Or is it another update? Honestly, I can't keep up with all of the Minecraft updates sometimes. And then other times they take forever and all they do is change the texture of a block. Oh my goodness, don't tell Mojang I said that. Anyway, I'm pretty sure that is new. Oh, do you think they've added anything new? <gasps> what if they've added UFOs? Oh, that would be amazing. <gasps> oh my goodness, I dig the spooky stuff. Uh, where am I going? Um, oh, I'm going over here. So since the last episode, I've been doing a lot of building. As you can see, this building right here is known as Pig Tower. I know, it's a pretty majestic name, isn't it? Look, I've got pigs over here. There's a pig like chilling in the hole over there and not only that i've got pigs here too hence calling this place pig tower i'm kind of thinking i'm just gonna have like lots and lots and lots and lots of paddocks of pigs why because why not some people ask why in the world i'm the kind that asks why not i mean look at pig tower is amazing and it took me forever some might say it's a massive waste of time and materials but i think it's rather wonderful oh my goodness can i be like a princess of the pigs the protector of the pigs the savior of the pigs if you will for i am the princess of the pigs anyway what else have i been doing i hear you ask mining i mean it is minecraft after all right and oh my goodness did you guys catch last episode because i actually found my first ever diamond and no, I didn't even need to cheat it in. I actually found it on camera. Okay, so right here was my original Y12 base. And you guys were like, Amy, you are so old. We don't do Y12 anymore. And I had an existential crisis and started to dig down further. And we pretty much got down to bedrock. And that is where we found my diamond. But I also realized that I can't really find caves on a level that has bedrock. So I mined out these little areas right here. And I'm pretty sure they're like my minus 44 or something so we can go ahead and like strip mine along here open these areas up a little bit and hopefully find some of those radical scary looking caves and then down there is the bedrock level so we're gonna do a little bit of mining later i want to show you guys all the work i've been doing in the house Oh my goodness, this takes forever. Seriously, I need to make some kind of elevator or a water drop or something. This is hurting my finger. I'm keeping my finger on W the whole time and it's aching, you guys. I seriously need like a little manicure after this. All right then, so in the house, we of course have little Rex. Hey, buddy. Oh, you're such a cutie little patootie. I added a sign up next to my amazing closet. As you can see, it says the world's greatest closet by Amy Lee. Yeah, I have actually had it trademarked. Seriously, since the last episode, I had so many requests for orders. It was crazy. Right here is going to be my library, as you can see. And then in this room right here, I'm going to have it as my trophy room. And so far, you know what? We do have quite a few little trophies. They're not up yet, so that's something we're going to do today. And you know what? I hear ghosts. I kid you not, it's kind of freaking me out. Oh, hello, Dave. My wonderful slippery soulmate. Oh, I do love my fish. And you know what else I love? This view from this window. Look at that. It's like a painting. Now, where are the trophies? Oh, does a poisonous potato count as a trophy? I guess it kind of counts more like treasure than a trophy. Maybe we should have a treasure room. And I can fill it with poisonous potatoes. Oh, look, see, here we go. We've got this bell that we stole from the cult. And then we have these banners from when we battled the pillagers. Do you guys remember? So we should definitely put those those in our trophy room oh my goodness do you guys hear that it's ghosts i'm telling you oh my house is haunted and i love it so much all right then back to the trophy room why are these different look at there's an ominous banner and it has a whole bunch of colors on it and then there's just a plain ominous banner i don't know but you know what? we'll pop one here oh my goodness look at that Oh, it's rather scary. And I'm all for the scare. Okay, and then... <gasps> Wait, did that just move? I'm not even kidding. I swear it moved. Okay, I think it's just swaying. Anyway, I think the bell should kind of be like the centerpiece. Oh my goodness, that's magnificent. Oh, I love it so much. Oh, and you know what? We have some signs. Let's pop a little sign up. The bell of the cult. Oh, perfect. And then we can put a sign up here. And we'll just call this one a pillager battle. I already have no idea what the difference is with all of these banners. But we'll put the other one on this side. Yeah, you know what? They're exactly the same. But I'm gonna call this one something different. The rescue of the LAs and golems. 
problems. Because let's be honest, I am actually a hero now. I'm keeping my eye on these bannons though, because I swear that these eyeballs moved. Can this bell even do anything? Oh my goodness, it makes a sound. Ooh, what if that is like the calling of the cult? They might come here and steal my fish. You know what? Let them be brave and come here and try and steal my fish. I will kick so much butt, there won't even be a cult left. Exactly, no one messes with a girl and her fish. Alrighty then, so what else have I been doing? Uh, oh, I did make a meeting room too, that's over here. Ah, oh, look, the LA is in here. Isn't he just so totally adorable? Look at him! Oh my goodness, my heart! Honestly, sometimes I just cannot cope. So yeah, we still need to do like some decor and stuff. But at least I know what I'm doing with the rooms now. Oh, wait a minute. My house isn't haunted. That's the LA. He's like laughing and stuff. I mean, that's kind of adorable, but I'm not gonna lie. I'm kind of disappointed my house isn't haunted. Oh, I do love ghosties. All right, so today we're gonna do a little bit more mining and hope that we can come across more diamonds. Wait, what the heck is that? Join us? Wait a minute. Oh, this is from the cult. The cult was here, Rex. Did you see the cult? Oh, they were in the house. Why have they left us a perfectly round booger? Oh, wait a minute. I think that's an eye of Ender. Yeah, that makes sense. But ew, what are they doing in my house? Oh, is it because we rang that bell? Oh, maybe. Okay, I'm getting rid of this thing. Oh, but you know what? We can actually use this item frame. That's cool. But the fact they were in this house, that's given me the Wiggins. We need some more protection. Oh, I've got an idea. Let me just go ahead and pop all of this away. And do we have any wood? Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, we've got a little bit here, huh? Let's grab a few stacks. And I think we need to make some kind of like lookout area so that we can see if they're coming. Oh my goodness, that is so super creepy. I hate it. Uh, now where do we put this watchtower thing? Uh, I don't think it'll work here. Ooh, but maybe in this corner. I don't think there's anything up here. Uh, let's see. At least I hope we're not going into another room. Oh no, look, daylight. Okay, so uh, if we like maybe mine this area out a little bit and then I'm just gonna kind of pillar up and see what we're dealing with. There we go, perfect. Oh yeah, you know what? This will be a perfect area for a watchtower. We'll just build round like this and just keep on going up. I mean, the view from here is just fantastic anyways, huh? But we definitely need it a little bit higher, just so we can see that cult coming from miles away. You know what, though? We are going to need to make, like, a bajillion ladders, too. And I kind of need to remember, I need to get down. And I don't really want to break my face. Or oh, my toesies. All right, well, let's just see how high we actually want this thing to go. So let's have one, two... And three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. What's that looking like? Oh, actually, this is a pretty good height. We can see from really far away. But let's just go up three more blocks and make it lucky 13. Ah, oh, yeah, that's perfect. Look it, we can see a little wolfie down there. We can see some mushroomies. We can see that waterfall. We can see a sheepy. Yeah, you know what? This height is going to be perfect. And I kind of forgot that I need to get down. Darn it, I was just saying I didn't want to break my face on my toes. Oh, actually, no, look, we have a water bucket. That's perfect, actually. Okay, so what I'm going to do is kind of, like, bring this around and then build the actual, like, hut of the watchtower. And we could also kind of have it as, like, a little survival base, too. Have, like, a crafting table up here, a furnace, a bed, a chest full of goodies. That way, if the cult ever comes and storms the house, We've got somewhere that we can hide out. Oh, we need to keep a bow and arrow up here too. So that if we ever actually see them coming, we can kick some cult butt. Perfect. Righty then. So let's make this little hut place a little bit bigger. And then we're going to need to make some ladders. Righty then. Now this is a pretty good size, right? I think so. It's definitely big enough to hold what we need. So let's go ahead and build these walls up. And then we can start putting our little survival equipment in. Okay, and that's the last of the wood. And we don't have much to finish, luckily. Ow, my toesies! Oh, not only do I need a manicure for my fingers, I now need a pedicure for my toes! Jeez. Okay, so, um, yeah, we still have to build uh, the rest of the tower. But that's the boring work. I want to do all of the fun stuff. Okay, so let's get our water bucket and uh, pop some water down like so. And then all we've got to do is is jump in. See, that's going wonderfully. Look at that. Perfect. Wait, is the cult here? Oh, 
Rex, have they been back? No, okay, it looks safe. Okay, so first up, we need to make a heck of a lot of ladders. 27, do you guys think that will be enough? Well, it is for now. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna want is to put a little bit of food up there. Then we wanna put a few materials. Ooh, I didn't realize I had a whole bunch of iron here. We should definitely smelt that. Do we have any coal in our furnace? Uh, no, because we have some potatoes that have not cooked. Oh, I have to do everything around here. Wait, where's my coal? Do I not even have coal? I have 17 pieces, no way. We are definitely gonna need to go mining soon. All right, well, we'll do the potatoes another time. Let's just get this iron done. And now let's see. Um, ooh, we wanna get a bed up there. And we should also put like a stack or two of cobblestone up there. Just in case the coal comes, we'll need to like barricade ourselves in a little bit better. Let's take these chests. And I guess that's everything for now. Oh, imagine how beautiful it's gonna look in the nighttime too. The view will be amazing. Oh, I'm stuck. Okay, I think I missed one. There we go. Perfect. I mean, I guess I should just finish this part off too. Ugh, it's so annoying. Why can't it just be done already? I know, right? Seriously. My poor clicking finger. All right, hurry up. Get this done, girl. And we made it. And isn't this just amazing? Like a giant square room. Oh, I love it so much. Okay, so what I want to do is make like a little door here because we have this as like a little balcony so we can walk all the way around. I will probably expand this another like block or something though. Because I'm not going to lie, walking on just one block like this, this high up is giving me the heebie-jeebies. I also want to make lots of windows. I mean, the whole point of this building is so we can see all the way around and make sure that coat isn't heading for us. So let's open this up. Perfect. That will do nicely. Let's grab our crafting table and the furnace and the chests and we'll pop those down here. Oh, let's make a little bed. There we go. We'll pop that there. Let's pop the little chests here or one big fat one. And in here we will put our supplies. You know what? I also think I should leave this bucket of water just in case we need to make some kind of different escape. What if the coal is coming up this ladder and then we're like, how do we get out? I could throw some water off the balcony. Wait a minute, it's getting really, really dark. Oh my goodness, the sun is going down. Oh, that's kind of beautiful. Look at it go. You know, it's going to be kind of interesting seeing how many beasties are going to spawn. And also kind of nightmarish. Talking of, let's pop a few torches up here. And we should also make a trap door so we don't fall down there. Perfect. And then I guess I should expand this balcony a little bit. We still have plenty of wood left over. Oh, but my tummy. Does anyone else's tummy go really weird when they're like standing really high up? I mean, I know in real life that's normal, but in video games? Honestly, this is making me feel weird. Why is that wolf still there? Oh my goodness, I'm a bumblebee. Oh, can he see me? Stay away, bumblebee. Although apparently you guys were telling me that they can't hurt us. So I guess that's a relief. <sighs> what was that? Did you guys... Ah, what's up? Ah, there's something up here. I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared. <laughs> What was that? Was that Hero Brian? Oh, wait a minute. What if it's Hero Bat? Something attacked me. Oh, and I keep hearing it. Honestly, I swear to God, it's Hero Bat. Oh, I don't like it up here at all. Wait a minute. Do you guys see that right over there in the mountain? That looks like someone's made a little home in a cave. Wait, what if the cult is hiding in there? And that's how they're watching me. Oh, my goodness. Oh, we are so checking out that cave one day soon. But not tonight because I'm kind of scared already. Is Hero Bat still out there? Oh, I hear the wings. The dreaded wings of Hero Bat. Did you guys not know of the legend of Hero Bat? One stormy night, Hero Brian was walking around, minding his own business and scaring the living crap out of innocent players. He got lost and found shelter in an old cave, not knowing that this was the cave of the feared King Vampire Bat. As Hero Brian slept peacefully, dreaming of scaring more players, the King Vampire Bat awoke from its slumber. He bit Hero Brian and feasted on his blood. The next evening, while stalking the player he found in the woods, Hero Brian found himself craving blood. Suddenly, he changed into a winged beast, half vampire and half Hero Brian. He flies the night sky, seeking out fresh blood and collecting the skulls of his victims. If you hear Hero Bat approaching, you must seek shelter immediately, for he will not give up until the sun rises and he retreats back to darkness. If you wake in the morning to find a pile of bones at your door, be very aware, for this is the sign of Hero Bat, and he is watching you, 
waiting for the perfect opportunity to bring you into the darkness. Thus is the legend of Hero Bat. I'm not lying, that's what's happened. He's out there somewhere and he tried to bite me. I am so lucky I survived. I am like a folk legend now. The only survivor of Hero Bat. What we need is actually to be able to get on the very top of this building too. That would be awesome. Although not right now because of Hero Bat. Oh my goodness, I just saw the ghost of a duck. I'm not even kidding. I know what you're thinking. Amy, you're crazy. You're seeing things again. I'm not. Look it! In that cave over there. Not the one with the lights. That one. See? What did I tell you? There's a duck ghost. Ooh, maybe I can capture the duck ghost and he can live in my house. I mean, after all, I only said earlier that I really wanted a ghost in the house. Anyway, you know what? Maybe I should sleep. Can I sleep? Hero Bat is nearby. Oh, no. Apparently, I can't sleep. Good night, everybody. And good morning! Alrighty, let's open this area up and um, Hero Bat, are you still here? No, Hero Bat is gone. I'm going to finish up this balcony and build like a little ladder going to the top and then we're done. It's been a pretty eventful episode if I'm not mistaken. And wait a minute, that wolf, he's still there? I am incredibly sus of that wolf. Do you think he's working for the cult? You know what I think? I think I've become incredibly paranoid. Yeah, you know what? I have a little bit, haven't I? Anyway, moving on, let's get this done. Alrighty then, our little watchtower is now complete. And look it, I added a little fence going all the way around the balcony. You know, just so we don't actually fall to our untimely deaths, because that would totally suck. And then I got a little ladder and a trapdoor up here, which just leads to the very top of the building, which gives us the perfect uninterrupted 360 view. Oh, this place is spectacular. And you know what? No sight of that cult, except for the cult wolf. <laughs> Anyway, guys, that is all the time I have for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it muchly. Please keep giving me lots of tips and advice in the comments section. I read them all and answer as much as I can. Most importantly, don't forget, I love you guys muchly, and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye!